Are you tired of juggling multiple tools and spreadsheets to manage your podcast production? Wish you had a single streamlined solution that can handle everything from guest submission to episode publishing to finding you opportunities to guest on podcasts? Well, look no further. In this video, I am going to show you how to master your podcast production using a real powerful ClickUp template. Now this ClickUp template will help you streamline your entire podcast workflow from managing guest submissions and interviews to organizing your content creation and your repurposing process. I will also walk you through how to use it to easily track and manage guest submissions if you have guests on your podcast. Collaborate with your team on show notes, scripts, and other content that every episode needs. Or make your own life way easier if you don't have a team yet and you are doing all the work on your own. Believe me, we're gonna save you a ton of time so you can focus on creating amazing content for your listeners and viewers. Yes, this template works perfectly fine for video and audio podcasts alike. So if you're ready to master your podcast production and take some of the stress out of the process, be sure to hit that like button and watch the video all the way through as I might just have a surprise for you at the end. Let's start in the beginning. I'm going to be assuming you have guests on your podcast because you're doing the podcast for some reason, right? You want to get exposure or maybe you want to find clients. The easiest way to do so is having guests a guest. Now managing guests is a lot of work. You need to make sure you have the bio and you have the headshot and you have this and you have that. You might have a couple of questions. Guest management is one of the most time consuming parts of this podcast production workflow next to the content repurposing and the marketing that comes in the end. So let's dive on over to ClickUp and let me show you the template and how easy it is to manage your guest application in your podcast. When you come right here, as you can see, this template is a folder template. We are using multiple lists for different stages of this process to produce your podcast. If you look in the overview, you will see the different lists and potentially documents you have associated with this workflow. Now, me personally, I love all of this as a big picture view, but when we get into it and we are actually working on this, I like the list view still. With that, we have set this as the default for everyone. If I wanna get the big picture view, I just go back to the overview and get everything I need. My everyday working is happening in this list. And now specifically, looking at the guest application process for your podcast, let's hop on over into the submission list. As you can see, I already have a dummy submission in here and there's a lot of information right in here. Now, how did this get here? Really simple. Right in here, right up there, you will see the application form. Now, the application form is already set up for you with a template. I have, again, some dummy content, some standard content in here. Make sure you update that to you. And this is where all of the custom fields are housed to gather that information from your potential guest, where we have the first name, last name, the email. If somebody sent you here, let me know who sent you, who referred you to my podcast. What's your website? What's your mailing address? I don't set this as required. However, yeah, I like to send gifts once in a while. So I would like to have the mailing address right away. Room to upload the headshot for your guest. Then have you been a speaker before? You always should know what level of experience your guests have so you can adjust accordingly. What do they propose as a show title always helps get some ideas. Then insert additional guest question and ask for episode description. This is where you can decide what do you want? Do you want to add additional question? Do you want them to give you an episode description? Whatever it is. Then room for the speaker bio, any resources they might like to share. I always ask for no goes we often dive deep into growth mindset in our podcast and there can be things that guests don't want to talk about. So make sure when you really build out your podcast production process, also ask for things that you shouldn't be asking on your podcast. What are their social media links? Who else do you think should be guest? This right here can bring you more guests in. So many guests that have been on my podcast submit their associates, their friends right there and I have an ongoing list, which you will see here in a second, that allows me to reach out and not be like cold calling people. Hey, you want to be on my podcast? No, now I can say, hey, so-and-so just referred you to my podcast. Would you like to come on? Sounds way better, doesn't it? Then 
Here, we also ask, hey, do you have a podcast that I might be able to be guest on? Sweet! Get yourself some podcast leads. What's the link for it? And then we have some legal stuff in here that says, hey, yes, I am going to do my best to make this the best quality possible. And I also give you the right to repurpose the whole thing. Now, when that gets submitted, it ends up in the submission. And now we have all of the information in here. Now, little pro tip, make sure when you are in the application form and you are in editing, I would always have add custom field answers to the description of the task. Now we have dummies, dummy content in here, which means this has not been sent through the form. This has been edited. When submissions come in, sometimes custom fields can get wonky or somebody of the team deleted it or whatever. I always like to have the backup to add that information to the description too. So make sure you have that turned on. Now that you've seen the initial work in this template and how easy it is to manage your guests and get all that information you need for your podcast process, let me know if this ClickUp template for podcast production sounds like it could be a game changer for your show. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. What's the biggest challenge you are currently facing when it comes to making your podcast? workflows and process run smooth. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see how this template can streamline your process just like it did mine. Now that we have this submission done, there's already a couple of automations your first one right here in this template, where when the recording is scheduled, move it to the scheduled list, which means we have our podcast stages in here. We have scheduled recording where you can add an automation to it that then sends an email and says, hey, can you please schedule your recording? Yes, that's possible. And when you click recording scheduled, meaning that guest has scheduled their recording, it automatically moves into the scheduled list. Now you have a clear list that tells you, hey, all is done, awesome, they have scheduled their call, we are ready to really do the thing. Now in here, you now see more custom fields in this list view where we have the live show date. When does this episode go live? We also have the episode field here, which is actually a text field. So I can do the 001 rather than just the one personal preference of mine. The data that they entered in the form has been moved here because the whole task moved. You know, the podcast stage you already had there. And then there is additional fields back here that will help you in the future when you want to automate more of this and share assets with your guests. This is where you mark your graphics for the podcast done. This is where you enter your blog link. This is where your Google Drive folder for this specific episode is being linked. And yes, in the future, once you run this and this podcast production workflow is running smooth for you manually, you can automate the Google Drive asset generation too, and it automatically adds the link in here too. There is a video in the playlist. More to that later. Your transcription links. So again, that your guest can grab the transcription. We use Transistor to host the audio podcast. That link goes in here as well as the YouTube link. Following this ClickUp template and filling out these custom fields will allow you to automate more and more of this in the future. So please keep them. And for now, while you are running this and using this manually, fill them in manually. Then once we have the recording done, more things can happen. Looking at this right here, look at this. We have a couple of automations for you already in here. When the podcast stage changes to podcast scheduled, mark it complete. Let's save this because that's what it's supposed to be and will be in your template. As well as when the custom field changes to recording, you are gonna have to update the template on your end because you need to build this template. It comes with the big folder template, but you need to add that in here and it then changes to in progress. And as you can see, our podcast production task template is in here too. You just simply need to save it as a template and then update the automation so it automatically gets applied. That means we have your guest podcast submission all squared away, all done. That now also means you have the 
podcast production task template all done and can go through it. Before we go into the last thing of how you can turn your own podcast into leads for you to guest on other podcasts, make sure you are subscribed because I will be bringing you more templates and videos that help you go beyond the hustle and simplify your business. As we already said, going into the folder level, you will find a list that says hostess guest, which is you're potentially being guest. Yes, we would like to have Evie as a guest. This is where you now can reach out to them and be like, hey, I want to be guest. Can we please do this? You also can then check it off. Yes, you have been approved as a guest so that they disappear in this list. This is also where you can find your potential future guests that some of your guest applications have referred to you. Now, as you can see, there's a checkbox in here that says referral added to wish list which is your wish list right down here. That is where you collect who you would like to have on your podcast. This is also where you would collect any referrals you have gotten from your future and past guests through this submission. This is where you reach out to. This is also where you potentially in the future can automate emails and say, hey, so-and-so said you would be an amazing guest for my podcast. I would love to have you. Can you please pop your information in here and you send them to your form to send you all of the information. Now you have a perfect, streamlined, optimized, and already partially automated podcast production workflow right here in ClickUp that will save you hours and hours and hours in your production process. And the template, as you have seen it, is in the ClickUp community available for you. And I'm confident that if you implement this template, you are going to see a huge difference in how efficiently you are able to manage your podcast and just how much less time it will take you. Now, if you're looking for more tips and tricks and resources to help you use ClickUp for your podcast and even automate it further, be sure to check out my ClickUp for Podcasters playlist. I've got a whole collection of videos covering everything from basic best practices to advanced automations throughout all the stages of your podcast production workflow. I'll see you over there where you can dive even deeper into taking your podcast production to new heights with ClickUp. Thanks so much for watching. I'll check you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe.